Hi guys, welcome. Didn't see you there. I've got an exciting evening planned. I'm off to Walden Bike Club. Do you fancy joining me? Ah, sorry, you're not invited. Take care though. Have fun. Bye. How did you get out? I locked you in. Ah, well, seeing as you're out, you might as well come with us, eh? All right, come on, you can come. Only if you're good, though. Come on, you can't stand there, can you? Come on, get on. Let's take you with us, come on. You didn't think I wouldn't bring you with me, did you? Of course I wouldn't. Well, what are we doing? We're off to Walden Motorcycle Club. They hold a mill. Now I've never been, I only actually heard about it because I sold a camper van to a couple of the organisers and they told me about it. So. Me and Terry thought we'd go down there, give it a go. Hopefully it should be a really good evening, but we'll find out. I've been there before, because I dropped the camper van off, and I've got to have a sneaky peek of all the goodies that lay there. So I um, know it should make quite an interesting video. Right. As you can tell from the beginning, and as I haven't finished making it yet, or re editing it yet, I'm not on the Versus. Now, I've said in a couple of videos I've got a new bike. I have got a new bike. It's a white VFR, there's no secret now. It's a little bit more sporty than I remember. And I've done a bit of research and found out now that the newer 8th gen, because of the VFR Crossrunner, they've decided that that's their sort of more toury bike and they could make the VFR 800 in the 8th gen be a bit more sports sports tourer if that makes sense so me and Terry oh, is behind me somewhere we are heading down that way we're running a bit late as usual but I'm sure they'll wait for us <laughs> I bet all these houses are going what the hell is going on <laughs> You want the bungalow? What, because you're old? What, you want it because you're old? Yeah. <laughs> What's that, mate? Can't make it now. Down yeah, there. well, it's sort of weird, weird down here as well, well but. You can go that way, follow your knees, though. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That's definitely. It's busy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, mate. There's some of the old bikes as well. They just keep streaming in as well, don't they? They did say they used the field a lot. Yeah, I know what you're saying. 
Right, so what have you got? Um, here we're selling uh, Walden Bikers merchandise, so we've got some branded merchandise, and then we've got a kind of recycling rail where people can bring in things they don't want anymore and uh, turn them over, all good for the planet. Yeah, no, recycling's a good idea, isn't it? Um, all all the sales, all the profits, all to the air ambulance. Oh, that's brilliant, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, how long does the pet racing take? Because, I mean, have you been doing it all weekend? Or? No, it takes us about a day to set up. Right. And we've got a bit of how long have you been doing it, do you know? We started in 2014. 2014, cool, you've been going? Yeah, established 2014. Right, and it's just grown and grown and grown? Yeah, it started off with just um, a few lads um, meeting at the lab at the paper, saying, shall we make a, a little micro and like right. wheeler um, and Mike Radley. And they met at the leisure centre in South and then decided where would they meet, and we thought this would do. You know, it's kind of local, and we've got a little bit of part there. Yeah. So that's, started meeting yeah that's brilliant. It's brilliant what you did. I was just to say, as a, something for the biker community, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's something and nothing. It's just somewhere to meet, have a cup of tea, have some fish and chips, um, chat, and come back. Have you got homemade uh, Binto? That I had oh, asked. Yeah, right, Bina. Yes, I have. Oh, that was good. I have to say, I'm really impressed with that. No, you, I know you was a bit rowdy, but I was impressed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Hello, Lee. Are you all right? Nice to see you. Hello. 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 If you haven't been the Isle of Man, you see. Yeah, I wondered if you might be a bit down on people because the Isle of Man. Have a look in yeah, my little museum. Yeah, often will. You've seen that, haven't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, your brilliant museum. But yeah, I'll take him up. How's the sidecars going? Have you got any further with them? Uh, what one was I doing? I don't know. You was. I think it was a couple half done, actually. <laughs> well, we're doing a boundary run on the valley over there. Right. Right. this morning on the Harley. Oh, right. Good. <laughs> yeah, well, I have done. They're still all runners there, I'll take it. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, most. You always get problems, don't you? Of course, yeah. The Indian I bought in the Isle of Man last year. Right. Huh? I didn't own it, I didn't own it. But then again, that's got most of those to get it. They're like sidecars, I don't know. It comes down, you see. And then in there, you've got cheese and coffees. Excellent. And donuts and some air And then we have a quick look out. Skinny the tyres are, look! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yours for... Yeah, 6,250 quid? I can't buy another bottle. It's not a couple of those, though. I suppose you've got to keep that as, as a sort of classic memento to the past, haven't you? Yeah. The tax disc. Six thousand two hundred and fifty quid. Bit of classic history. Probably a pain to ride though. Who next door here? The speedway section. Speedway. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, proper. Oh, there we go. Proper. Oh yeah. Uh, the East race. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Class track. Yeah. So this was a five hundred again. I put yeah. pit bike engine in. Built him a left-hander and he won a championship down at Kent last year. 
and they stopped Nichols' levers when he was riding for Boy House. Nice rocket, see the rocket? Yeah, there yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, I remember Boy House rockets. Yeah, I think Mum and Dad used to take me there when I was a kid. Yeah. Being from Harlow, that was our closest yeah, sort of yeah, um, yeah. bit, and yeah, Mum and Dad used to take us down there. I, I did love the smell. <laughs> yeah. Please, please. Yeah. This is a Lena. Oh, oh, right. Look at Kelly. Oh, right, yeah. That's a bit scary, right, isn't it? No, we've been up and down the road on it. And yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it just looks a bit. Well, I suppose it's like riding a proper bike because you can lean. Yeah, yeah. But I think really this. I don't know how you get in there, though. <laughs> That'd be a bit small. Tried to get my granddaughter in there when she was little, she wouldn't have it. No, no, that's a. Probably when she was going to miss it. This is just as skinny as 98cc, John. It's called a new. Uh, an Aberdale, which is about 49 that is. That is older than me, Dad. That is older than you, Tim. <laughs> How long have you been collecting then? In 15 years or oh. something. When I stopped motocrossing. Right. Well, I rebuilt this building because it was just made of two by two. Right. Insulated it and... So, yeah. And the insulation was sawdust. Oh, right. That hasn't... Mice haven't nested in it and <laughs> napped it all? Oh yeah, we had mice, rats and everything. That's half the reason. The, the only thing left now is two back steps. Right. No, everything else is gone. That's not a few, yes. That's, that's quite, it's quite a few. It's glass track trials and motocross. So mate? That's well worth a look. I told you it was good didn't I when I everything there's a real mix in it everything from scooters to big tourers oh, I like that <laughs> Eyeballs. Well done, you didn't drop it. I bet you was nervous though, wouldn't you? I saw you pulling those up, Ben. Bless her. <laughs> well, I thought you was a lot younger than that. I was worried you was going to have to do all, but no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, that's all right, so you can go straight. You're only one test, one big bike, yeah. Yeah, and a couple of weeks ago, I've done me theory. Right. But I thought I've been driving for. Since yeah. 2009, so it's just yeah. Like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you go with? Bikes in motion. Right, okay. You did Cam Rider, didn't you? I did Cam Rider, Cambridge. Yeah. yeah. And I did um, one to one New Market, oh. training in New Market. Yeah. I think Cam Rider's a local place. Yeah, Cam Rider's a proper big company, isn't it? Yeah. So. They're really good. Yeah, because I had to look around the area, there's a few around Wickford, but um, I thought that was the best, but I don't know what they're doing. They might not be around here, you've got to be searching and yeah. stuff like that. Which costs to start from CB2 all the way through is about £1,000. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's and that's going well. So, it's Yeah, that's why I, I thought I'll just get more of them, I was a bit insane, just doing CBT after CBT. Yeah. And I'll, Coming, didn't they? Okay. 
I've got a feeling, sir, we might be uh, squashed in by the time we get up to where we are. Oh, try with Tiger. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go, sir, there's an old camera taking for you. And it's green. I like your paint colour. <laughs> Thanks. That is gorgeous, isn't it? I can't take credit for it. <laughs> oh, <you laughs> the, car, the car I bought it off. All right, okay. That yeah. is nice, isn't it? No, it is nice. Change colour in the sun. Yeah, yeah, it kind of goes here. It's kind of you can see it a little bit. Yeah, the guy he bought it off of had a tank bag on it, and I don't, I don't know how he had a tank bag. It must have been one clipped on or something. But he said it was all scuffed. And during lockdown, he just painted it. He had, he had a body shop, and he just. He's done a good job on it. Yeah, he's quite nice. I've got a bit of a leak, I think. Not even a mark on it, but. I thought I'd get the big camera out, seeing as me and the wife are taking photos now and doing our photography course soon. Hope you like some of the pictures. I don't think some of them have come out too bad. Sticker rifle, not bad. That's going to go somewhere on the bike. Thanks for coming along. I have to say, that was bloody brilliant, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that? Because I was saying, well, no, I did. So there was bikes there of every size and shape. There was learners with with L plates. There was guys with the real old classics. There was sports bikes. There was you name it. There was venture bikes. There was one, two, five enduro bikes. There was everything there. It was. It was a real mix. It was none of this sort of, you know, off-road group or Harley group or, yeah, it was really, really good. I can't wait to go back. I absolutely loved it. I mean, they had a chip van. They had a guy playing a guitar, which unfortunately I didn't catch the name, but it was really good. And I have to say, really well done, mate. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe. I know I keep saying it, and I know every other YouTube does, but it really does help. I really want to try and get monetized because making YouTube videos does cost and to be honest with you it only costs getting good cameras and stuff like this and it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe but if I get enough of them it will actually make me something so if you can please guys I don't put that many videos up so you won't get bombarded so thanks ever so much and take care and I'd just like to say a big thank you to Warden Bikers for a really great evening.